Hey YouTube violinists, in today's video we're going to be talking about relaxing the left hand. Stick around to the end of the video, you don't want to miss this. And if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. I do a lot of violin tutorials and violin content on the channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, so that way you get notified for when new violin videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about that left hand. So a lot of people say that they experience tension in their left hand whether they're squeezing or something with their shoulder or their neck, it's kind of a combination of things as to why your left hand is not relaxed. So again, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to relax the left hand. Let's just start off with the basic principle of how to hold the violin up on your shoulder. So what we want to do is you can see right over here, my net, my knuckle, this, this knuckle over here and in my index finger is what's helping me hold this violin over here. And to give you a, a a better view my thumb is nice and relaxed I can go back and forth with this and then just to give you another good view there should be a, a hole going through between the thumb and the knuckle just to give you that extra that extra um, air inside uh, the hand when holding the violin it's not just a left hand endeavor and it's not just a head endeavor it's kind of a combination of the two so you're actually holding your violin with the with the weight of your head and you're lifting up your hand on the violin and it's important to note that you're not squeezing the thumb it's very important that you're not squeezing the thumb if you squeeze inward you're going to experience a lot of tension a lot of pain from the from the palm of your hand going down your wrist, down your arm, up your shoulder and into your neck. So that is something that I encourage you to do is to make sure that you're not squeezing your thumb as much and you're letting the violin go on that violin shelf. You know, when I always teach my beginners, I always talk about that violin shelf. The violin shelf, again, is that first knuckle right over here that you simply place right on the neck. And if you're still confused as to where that violin shelf is located, look at the palm of your hand. Do you see how we have these little lines over here? Well, that knuckle placement should be right above that middle line over here. So that's really important, right over here. If this is my, my lifeline, I call this my lifeline with all my beginners, especially, you know, five and younger. And then I go right over here. That is where I want to place the neck of the violin. And what I like to do actually, I'll actually step back for a moment, when everybody is in rest position, whether it's in a group class or I'm teaching a beginner for the very first time, I try to get the beginner to touch ever so slightly, putting your hand down, then putting it back up onto the neck, and I let it slide up from first position to fourth position. So that way they get used to the feeling of where that placement is on the hand. So let me step back again. I'm going to put the hand on the neck and I'm going to go up and down, first position, fourth position. And again, I use rest position as an example because at this point, beginners, they feel a lot of tension in their shoulders and they are, they're experiencing a lot of tension because the weight of the violin, they're not used to holding it up. So this is one great tool to use if you're a teacher or if you, even if you're a beginner put your violin rest position, try to make those two contact points, the thumb and the knuckle, the violin shelf, up and down, first and fourth position. And once you feel comfortable with that, then you go up with the violin and then you try leaving your neck out of the equation and see if you can bring that knuckle in first position and you can go up and down, left and right. This is just an example. And then another great exercise I did actually just the other day is I let the student try to hold the violin with their head and then I go back up to see if they can make those two contact points touch the neck. So one more time, I'm going to go down and I'm going to go back up. And this is always good for the beginner to really practice this. It's also good to acknowledge that you want to make sure you have a straight wrist you want to make sure your fingers are nice and curvy because that will make the student, student not be frustrated when they're putting fingers down eventually. But when you are a beginner, it is crucial to understand that once you have this in place, the, the, the knuckle and relaxing of the left hand, then you're going to be set for the rest 
of your violin playing career because it's really important and it's gonna be good for you in intonation, in terms of relaxation of the hand, and you're not gonna be experiencing a lot of shoulder and arm uh, tiredness. So I hope this helps you. And if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you like this content or if you found this very useful, subscribe to the channel and uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. What are some things that help you relax the left hand? I wanna know your thoughts and I wanna get this conversation going. And I'm the one that, re that replies to all the comments. So I thank you in advance. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. Again, helps me out to provide more violin tutorials for you. Also, please make sure to check out other violin videos on the channel so that way you can be up to date with what's going on in this community. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.